Hey, my name is Gary Marsh. Uh, I hope you enjoy today's video. It's all about fire again. Uh, I do have a, a tendency to play with fire. Uh, but also, uh, I do want to mention that the uh, I talk about the Aurora Firestarter in this video. And the Aurora Firestarter is... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of it, but... It's only because I couldn't figure out how to work it right away. So with that being said, I will uh, do a much more detailed video on that in the future. With that, let's get to the video. Okay, so uh, today's video is about fire starters, and these are commercial fire starters. But, uh, today I'm just going to get into these real quick, and uh, just let's just see how well they work. You can see here that I was I was playing with my little gel-like formula to see uh, how things work with that. That's a little something down the down the road if it works out really well. I will do a video on it. If not, then uh, you won't see any more of that. Just you just gotta love these clamshells, right? If you hear background noise, it's just uh, August is running around down below my feet and uh, kind of being a little bit of a nuisance today. A little pain in the butt. He is. But yeah, so this is pretty cool. And again, this is the uh, the Swiss, what do we call this? The Swiss Fire Steel 2.0 Scout. And it has an integrated uh, whistle in it as well. Right here. I got big lips, so it's hard to get my lips on there. But yeah, let's try it this way. Hmm. Yeah, it's driving uh, August crazy, but yeah. So, there's that. Let's try to get some of this off of there. Yeah, it lights it pretty quick, too. Just so you can see. That's the one thing I'm not too sure about this gel that I'm uh, I'm working on. Uh, you can't really see it, but you can see it's it's burning, and it's on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one out. There we go. So that seems to work pretty good. I like this one, and it's got a nice little nifty. Uh, lanyard attached to it so there's that the next one actually is the aurora fire starter and this is also a rothko item and i'll, I'll leave links in the in the uh description below for you to be able to uh take a look at this stuff if you'd like and if you buy for sure it uh, helps the channel grow of course, right? You hear that all the time from all the all the other YouTubers out there. All right. Looks like you got a little bit of a how-to paper here, it looks like maybe. Yep, sure does. So it's showing you exactly how this item works using your Aurora Fire Starter and the instruction sheet. So let me pause this for just one second. I'm gonna put some uh, I'm gonna put some gel on this and see how well it works. All right, so I I cut just a little piece off and uh, applied a little bit of gel on this. And uh, let me just move this stuff over. So you unscrew it, 
Got a little ferro rod in there. And it looks like get some on there. And of course you got to get some of this, you know, uh, coloring off of there. I'm not sure how this one works. Let me let me play with this one for a minute here. All right. Not really a big fan of this one so far. Of course, it could be operator error too. Oh, there we go. Okay. I just got my finger there. There we go. All right, so it does work. Uh, it just takes a little bit. Uh, I got to get used to this right here. And I uh, just wanted to show you that it is burning. As you can see, it is burning. All right. So that's not too bad. It is waterproof. I'm, I'm not sure uh, why you want your ferro rod waterproof. But anyway. That is the Aurora Fire Starter. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on this one and uh, try to play around with it a bit. Because I think this could be better. Uh, but anyway, it... It worked out. It worked for what you need it for. And uh, so this one here is an all-weather tender. So they call it wet fire. And there's 12 of them in a packet. So they come in. So these would, I think these would be great if uh, you're putting together your uh, first aid kit, or uh, not your first aid kit, but your survival kits, right? You can basically just rip these apart. You got 12 of them, so you could actually make 12, uh, 12 different uh, kits. And let's take a look at this. This is a lot, seems like. Now, I'm not going to burn it inside here today, but it's, uh, but I will take off just a little piece of it. Yeah, I think these would work great for, there we go, just take a little bit. And as you can see, my gel stuff is right there, so it's not going to get in the way or have any issues with that. Uh, let's just stick my trusty. So this one, I'm not going to give any uh, fair rod to it. I just want to see how fast it starts. Wow, that starts pretty quick. Oh, now that's got a good flame to it. Oh, it's a lot of smoke, though. So once it, once it gets started, you can't really put it out, looks like. <laughs> That uh, burns relatively quickly though. Okay, so it's raining today. I'm going to take this chunk out here to the fire pit and I'm going to launch a, uh, I'm going to see if I can't get a little start 
a little fire started with just this and uh, a little bit of wet tinder. Yeah, it burns pretty quick though. So with the right tinder, you should be all right with this stuff. All right. Well, that go. That's it for the fire starters. Uh, I, I kind of like these wet fires. These are really good here for the Pacific Northwest, um, where we get a lot of rain and we're expected to have snow here in the next couple of days. So that ought to be interesting. We haven't had snow this year down in the lowlands of the Pacific Northwest. So that's the Aurora fire starter, which we'll get in more on that. I'll learn how to use it a little bit better next time. And then the Swedish Fire Steel 2.0, I really like this one. That's a good um, uh, fire starter with uh, good steel. And I think it'll last a good long time. It's got a good lanyard to it. And again, it's got a nice little whistle. Drives my dog nuts. Oh, there we go. All right. Now that I moved my big lips out of the way. <laughs> but anyway, I really like the Swedish fire starter. And then again, these, the wet fire starters, these are all weather tenders. So you can put these, definitely put these in a, uh, a fire or a uh, survival kit and you can actually break these down. I'm not sure how long each one of these is supposed to last, but uh, I'll let you know. Oh, wait a minute, it might say right here. So one cube burns up to five minutes. So there you have it. One of these cubes for five minutes, you saw how fast just that little tiny bit on the edge there burned. Uh, that burned pretty quick. So I can see up to five minutes is probably more like three minutes, I bet. But we'll give it a test and see how it works. But it says here it's great use, great for use with any UST fire starters such as Spark Force, Blast Match, or Sparky. And in this case, it will work really well with just a, a knife and a ferro rod or the Swedish uh, fire starter. What do they call it? The Swedish Fire Steel 2.0. Yeah, Scout. But yeah, there you go. Uh, my name is Gary. This is the Northwest Survivalist. Have a great day. Hey, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos today. I Or the video today, sorry. Um, it is all about fire for me uh, in the beginning stages of my uh, Northwest Survivalist because if you don't know how to start a fire, you're gonna have a hard time surviving out in the wilderness. And so I really wanna concentrate on that in the, in the early stages of this uh, YouTube channel, as well as my site, northwestsurvivalist.com. However, it's not built yet. It's more of a store-like. I am, again, like I said earlier, a Rothko dealer, as well as several others. And now you can hear him whining at me, can't you? Uh, that's, that's August, by the way. So with that, uh, please subscribe. It helps me to continue these videos. And uh, hey, take a look at some of my products. You can still reach uh, some of those products over at pdcsafety.com. And um, you know, I got a few articles over there on the safety side and as well as on the survival side. However, I'm gonna concentrate more effort on the, on the Northwest Survivalist website and that's nwsurvivalist.com and uh, you can take a look and browse around. There's not much on there right now because it's just in the early stages of development. So with that, hope you uh, got something out of today's video. Have a great day. Really? Hmm. Really? <laughs>
you're a jerk. You were doing it like crazy just a minute ago, and now you're not going to do it at all. Anyway, that is August, folks.